Billy, another day, for the goal, for the record. How are you feeling tonight after that one? Yeah, um, I'm relieved it's, I've finally got it because um, it's been talked about for a few weeks now, but obviously we had the games called off. I'd have liked it before Christmas, but no, I'm just delighted. I'm still playing in Sheffield United team, winning games and getting on the score sheet is obviously something that I love doing. So it's a proud, proud moment for for myself and the family because the kids have been getting on my back a little bit. Uh, they've got more goals than me this season, so I'm chasing them. But um, no, it's nice to uh, to get the record, but to just get the breakthrough today and help the team get the three points was more important. And uh, I thought we've we've come here and been really professional, patient, and finally created the chance to to, to get the breakthrough. And then the lads at the back at the minute they're on fire, really solid and. While ever they're doing that, it gives us a platform to go and win games. Um, you know, not just Wes, but the lads at the back. You know, I think it's seven clean sheets in 11, 12 games. So uh, credit to them, and it's a bonus that we're putting goals in the in the other end as well. So um, but long, long may we continue to do that because we've got a few games in hand. Which obviously that's another thing we have to stay patient. But hopefully we can keep the momentum going and keep chasing people down. The goal seemed to come at an important time, really on top in the first half. Plenty of shots across the team, but it, but it hadn't come. Did you think it just, just settled everyone down a bit? Yeah, um, I could feel it coming. You know, the, the, They were lashing at a few crosses that we were putting in. I felt as though it was only a matter of time. And obviously, the more we put in the box, the more we looked dangerous. And uh, obviously, I should have scored again after, but um, we put the game to bed with the second goal, which uh, was was important for us to take a little bit of pressure off, and um, no, it's, it was a good performance, a patient performance, and one that uh, hopefully the fans will enjoy going on. You're creating as a team a heck of amount of, of chances at the minute. Do you feel that at some point you are going to give someone a real stuff in this season? Because I mean, 25 last week, and I think there's over 20 shots a, again. Yeah, we, we're working on it in training. Um, we're highlighting things in analysis and. We're trying to put it, put it to, uh, put it on right on the on the pitch, and we've managed to get two goals and a clean sheet today. Which, like I say, I thought it was a professional, patient performance, and um, everyone who's on the training pitch and on the pitch at the minute is feeling good. And we've got to keep pushing each other. Like I say, every every day is important, and we've got another game next Friday, and uh, the game's going to come thick and fast in February and March. So we need to be ready and. Uh, Obviously, might have a couple of injuries, so there's going to be opportunities for other people. But I'm sure they're ready because everyone's been training at a real high tempo. Yeah, how big a blow could that be for, for Rian in particular tonight? Because he's been looking in, in wonderful form, got a few goals as well, and the chances have started coming too. Yeah, he's, I've said many times before, he's a great finisher, and uh, his game's really coming together, and he's playing with a lot of confidence. And it's a shame today that well, I don't know how bad it is, but he's obviously felt his hamstring, which is disappointing for him and, and for us because um, we was looking dangerous and I'm sh hopefully Illiman's not too bad. Uh, he suffers with a bit of cramping game, so um, hopefully he's not too bad. But like I say, it's, it'll create an opportunity for somebody else. And obviously when Dizzy came on, I thought it was tremendous. His work rate and his hold-up play helped us get with the pitch. And it's about that now, about everyone mucking in and trying to compete for places. It's back-to-back 2-0 wins. Clearly, the, the enforced kind of COVID absence disrupted things. Is it now about keeping the, the results coming, getting that consistency and being relentless over the next month or so? Yeah, the last word you just used, relentless, is what we've got to be. Um, we've got to keep grinding teams down. Uh, at home, we've talked about it. People might come and sit in and make it hard for us, but we need to show our quality in the final third. And We did that in the last game, and then today we've come here in, no, no disrespect, the pitch wasn't the best and uh, we had to win the second balls, do the horrible stuff, get the breakthrough and then see it out in a professional manner like we did. Um, seemed to be a good bit of back and forth with the Peterborough fans after the goal. Have they dished it out a bit beforehand? Was it quite nice to give it a bit back once you'd scored? Yeah, I thought they were disrespectful again. I've said it before, but um, if that's what they want to do, uh, then fair, fair dues. Um, but yeah, don't really want to say much about that. Today is about our fans. Hopefully they go home happy and our players, another professional performance, three points, and uh, shut their fans up. And just finally, we know how much you like scoring goals, but w what do the records mean to you? Is it kind of the, the icing on the cake at, at the latter years of your career? Um, yeah, I'm, I won't be around for much longer, but no, I just like scoring goals. And um, 
I've got ahead of a lot of good players we've played in the championship. Um, hopefully Mitrovic doesn't stay in it much longer. Um, no, he seems to score a lot of goals. Uh, no, but I know there's people chasing me down. Jordan Rhodes, Graben, Chris Martin scored again. So there's a lot of players who's, who's scored a lot of goals in, in the championship. So to be at the top of that is is, is really nice and uh, special for me. So hopefully I can add a few more now. I was going to, just about to say, you're not doing that yourself. No. Um, <laughs> Just concentrate on the next game and try and get the next goal, and uh, I think that's nine for me for the season. So I'd like a, I'd like to have had a few more by now, but um, hopefully I can keep chipping away and score goals for Sheffield United, which I love doing. You don't think it's nine for the season? You know it's nine for the season. Yeah, it's yeah. nine <laughs> nine season. Yeah, eight in the league. So no, yeah, um, no, I just want to keep scoring goals and try and win as many games as we can until now to the end of the season.